first documented green sea turtle eggs hatched on Dolphin Island this week and it was caught on camera. WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy spoke with the Alabama Coastal Share the Beach program today about these turtles. This is a green sea turtle taking its first waddle on the beaches of Dolphin Island. Having a first for Dauphin Island makes it even more exciting. Alabama Coastal Share the Beaches director Sarah Johnson says this is a rare occurrence for Alabama. We're just on the very edge of their range over here and so we don't see very many of them. That's because these sea turtles primarily survive off of seagrass, which isn't really seen on the Alabama coast like it is in Florida. So if they came, you know, from Florida's panhandle, it could just be that they're drifting this way with currents finding a nice dark beach to nest on. Either way, we're happy for it. So far this season, Dolphin Island has been the home to 48 nests, a new record since 2016 where there were 38 nests. That's one of the things that Dolphin Island has to offer. And we're only halfway through the season. Mayor Jeff Collier says he plans to make the island even more suitable for these creatures. One of the things that we're looking at is trying to make sure that their habitat is more conducive. Uh, to to nest, including reworking zoning ordinances with turtle safe lighting and a project that will help re-nourish the shoreline. It would create more habitat area for the turtles as well as help defend Dolphin Island from future storms. Johnson says despite wanting to go near the turtles, if you see them, you need to stay back. First thing to do is make sure that you turn off any lights that you might have with you, any white flashlights, uh, no flash photos either, and stay back. We don't need sea turtles getting crowded. That's going to scare them back into the water and then they won't nest successfully. In Dauphin Island, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5.